So what's up? So I'm doing this video right now about the NBA players picking Michael Jordan as the GOAT. And I'll be doing other ones about the NBA players polls, which I find to be comical because sometimes I just think these NBA players are saying things that people want to hear. 73% said Michael Jordan is the GOAT. And I'd understand the majority of them probably saying him because they didn't get to see Magic Bird play and they don't really go back on their history with Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain is concerned. So, or Oscar Robinson, because I ain't too many of them know anything beyond a certain era. And some of it is because of time period, but also some just don't, they don't go back. But when you leave a Shaquille O'Neal off, then I know there ain't much going on to Tim Duncan. You know, come on now. But they had Jordan, they had LeBron, they had, they had Kobe. Okay, so, okay, you make those arguments, you know, if you want to. But then you're going to have Kevin Durant, who, when it's all said and done, yeah, he might arguably be a top, you know, 10, 12 player. Because, yeah, he got all the makings of it. They had Kareem with a vote, which was embarrassing, because Kareem Abdul-Jabbar should have way more than that. He changed the course of the game. The man won on every level. The only player... That was dominant in high school, college, and the pros. They had changed the rules. Scott Hook, the most lethal is shot to this day. But, again, there's politics involved. And a lot of these NBA cats don't go back. So they really don't have a clue. Then, well, yeah, I went after that in the head. And I was like, okay, I may have given you some love. But you had Allen Iverson with one vote. Look, I like the AI a whole lot. But AI ain't in the top. He ain't in no top 5 or 10 greatest players ever. For one thing, besides the chip factor, he wasn't as dominant as a Shaquille O'Neal, you know, or changed the game as Steph Curry did. For my money, I still take Isaiah Zeke Thomas over the AI. And I thought AI was tough, tenacious, tough. But I can't sit up here and do it. Are we talking about a buyer? Are we talking about careers? Are we talking about somebody that we personally like? But again, I don't be trusting these NBA players' polls. You know, I'm not surprised, though, they were asking because they've been slurping LeBron James like 7-11, like a big gulp. And they were all surprised that LeBron got waxed when it came to Jordan comparison. So, well, like, come on now. Michael Jordan was an impactful player. LeBron looked up to him. But now even more than that, he was clutch. And there's just a whole lot of other factors that, you know, look, I can say look, I like LeBron's overall game. But, you know, just common sense on the eye test, Michael Jordan was you know, one of those freak of nature players. And there's a few of them like that. But I don't sit around here. I think there's about 10 or 15 guys I can make the claim as the greatest ever. And I, and I think the rules didn't change too much. It was too tough to sit there and say, well, this guy, because, again, you're looking at different rules. Where's Will Chamberlain at? You know, and I don't want to hear about prehistoric because let me tell you something. Baseball in white world will throw Bay Roof down your throat like it ain't nothing. Backwash and all. So why can't a brother give Will Chamberlain his love? You know, why not? Why can't you give Shaquille O'Neal or Bill Russell? They love why, why not? You know, there's a lot of cats. Tim Duncan should be getting some love up in there. You know, I can name them, Shaq. I mention them, you know. So, you know, but anyway, that's my take about those NBA players picking Jordan as the greatest. Feel free to leave those comments. Hit that subscribe button. And when the bell rings, that's a new video. But that's my first take about these NBA polls, videos, and stuff where I'm kind of like, hmm, it's kind of, hmm. Anyway, all right, I'm out.